Hey everybody, I wanna give you your July report as we move into August. Um, as we suspected, looking at what was pending in June, July is down. It's actually the lowest closing we've had in three years. We are just at about 3,000 closings for the month. That is um, off 13% uh, versus last July. And, but the bright shining star has been condos. And of course, why? Because people have been priced out of single family homes. And so therefore the condo market has taken up that slack. Um, so they have held steady for the last three years, basically 484 deals in July closed. So as far as where we were from June, like I said, it looked like July was not going to be as robust as June. We are down 15% from this from just a month ago. Um, median home sale is now 478 and some change, and condos are at 350. So single family home, about $125,000 more than a condo. All right, so now let's talk about the inventory. Inventory is up 10% versus July of last year, and we are up 3% from June this year. Uh, we have almost 7,000 single family homes on the market, and we have a, um, 1,100 and some change condos. So those are your stats, you know, much more of indicating that we are continue to be in a more stabilizing market. We have a three and a half month inventory supply. So we are still technically in a seller's market. Um, but we do know that if you're out there as a buyer, all of my buyers lately, we have been able to get repairs, we are doing all the inspections and all of the all of the appraisal, you know, contingencies that we used to do in the good old days. So now we are back to the good old days for buyers. Okay, let me know what information you need for your specific neighborhood.